Thank you very much. Yes, I'm here with Shrimp and Sophie, the Team Dignitas uh, translator. Now, uh, Shrimp, if you can answer in English, of course, feel free. If you don't feel comfortable, that is fine. Uh, first off, I want to talk to you about coming in and beating TSM. I think most people did not expect that, but you played amazingly well today. So talk to me about beating TSM today. Uh, we beat TSM, so I want to go drink right now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, uh, feels very good. You must feel very good, and of course, the, you have your time to relax afterwards. Did you expect to play this well in your debut this year? Uh, I had confidence because I had I played practice a lot, um, so hard. So uh, I thought I can beat them. And beat them, you did. Congratulations, Shrimp, on that one. I want to ask about practice, because Chaser played in week one. I assume you and he trade off. So talk to me about what practice is like with another jungler on the team. Mm, we practiced very well, actually. So we didn't have any trouble, and mm, team boots very good. So I'm pretty sure we win today. Awesome, thank you very much. One last question for you. Uh, now that you've beaten TSM, the defending champions of North America, is Team Dignitas going to Worlds? Are you going to, to represent North America over in the World Championship this year? Of course. <laughs> of course they are. Team Dignitas going to Worlds for North America. With that, thank you very much, Shrimp. Thank you for doing the interview in English. Back to the analysts. <laughs> Just as Marco said, thank you, Freak. Shrimp has the right idea all the way to the top. Awesome that he was able to do that in English for Dignitas, the fans, for the team, and for everybody. It shows that they're really putting a lot of resources into the players to get them up to par, mm -hmm. to get them where they need to be. Just taking down TSM as they come into the second week of the And SMS. the way that they did it was very uh, kind of classic Dignitas. You see that Fiora pick out of someday going into the Renekton knowing he's taking yeah. a bad matchup saying I want to be the guy to win us this game give me this kit like you know the, the only really hyper scaling yeah. late game pick for the top lane position uh, which was very surprising it's also the first time we saw Malzahar kind of got left in the wayside a little bit because like we were saying at the beginning of the day changed in 7 uh, 11 had a little mini rework a lot of people think he's pretty strong right now Azale saying he's OP uh, <laughs> so it was kind of surprising to see that come out but overshadowed a little bit by all that top lane action that was going on early into the game. Absolutely. We look at our, our third game here. We were talking about the top lane matchup. We did see Hauntzer actually being able to overcome what Someday thought was going to be his counter. We saw a solo kill in that top lane, and things kind of got out of hand, but we figured top lane would be where a little of the pressure needs to be. It was it was scary for a second there with, with that initial solo kill, but then right away, uh, you know, Someday goes and gets his own, and then Shrimp was there to kind of back him up a little bit. Then they yep. turn to another gank, and, and then once he's online, the rest of the game plan sort of comes together on the side of Dignitas. You have this potential pick comp with the rest of their champions uh, around with Ash, Zyra, Malzahar being able to chain CC someone. If your right. four-man core is strong, you can control around an objective and then have, you know, the Fiora running wild and, and kind of force TSM into hard decisions. And that was kind of the case. It was a little scrappier than just that, where it was like really clean pickoffs and things like that. Uh, yeah. And it, it did get a little crazy, but at the very end, you know, Dignitas did slowly keep edging out these leads. And talking about those forcing each other into hard decisions, 35-40, Dig finds an elder fight here and a four for one is it has been back and forth, neck and neck, but they started to inch out a lead here. And you see them forced to walk through that choke point. You have the excellent zone control out of big, buying time for Shrimp to focus down this, and, uh, El excuse me, Elder Dragon. They get the one kill right away uh, onto the mid lane Bjergsen, which is basically the end of the game. And this whole time you saw on the flank, Fiora on the someday was just sitting back and waiting for them to kind of extend into the river. And it gives him easy chase down and access to the back line of TSM. Uh, showing he knows how to play Fiora in a team fight because that actually is relatively hard to do. You do have a lot of outplay tools with your parry and riposte as well as generally just building high health uh, lifesteal options, but you can't risk getting CC because you don't often have resistances, so you can get blown up very early on. Very, very early as we saw. Player of the game on this one going over to Someday as he was able to right the ship there, got in his own head, thought he had the upper hand too much. You can get yourself into trouble, but he does do well, pulls the win out or helps to pull the win out for his team. And looking at where TSM is coming from now, they obviously had this thing last split where lose first game, recoup, 
That's not happening, as well as the team fights are looking a bit more scattered. We did see the Galio composition come together much better for them this week, but everything's not there yet. Even that, that Galio composition, they had the late game scaling in game two, and it took them a while to right. actually close Dignitas out, despite what should be a much stronger late game. This time around, Sven having a lot of struggles. Uh, I think he had something like seven deaths by the end of this game, and a lot of them were kind of solo pickoffs. It was his death that gave up that Baron that really started pushing Dignitas into the lead. And this is uh, something that's always been a little bit of a struggle for TSM, but it seems especially pronounced early on this season for whatever reason. Uh, you think with the double if coming back, it should have yeah. been all, you know, great news for them, but they are struggling more than we've seen for, you know, almost a year since spring split. But on the other hand, Dignitas crushing it, the shrimp substitution, he was very, very aggressive and constantly forcing plays. Like I said, at the beginning of the day here, I said this split is now showing us that there's a lot more to be seen than expected coming in. We've got a lot more action coming your way. Immortals hit the rift next as they go up against FlyQuest. Do not touch that browser, please.